I'm never sure if it's a good thing when I say I cried a lot at a movie. On one hand, it means the movie is emotionally engaging and that there's some real depth to it, but on the other hand, people don't want to go cry a bunch. It's not something you're looking forward to doing. So I want to be careful when I talk about the help to say, yeah, I cried and it was emotionally engaging, it was great, but I also laughed a lot and I thought a lot, a lot of processing of what this movie is saying. The movie The Help is a movie that will impact you. The impact it will have on you, I don't know. I can only tell you the impact it had on me. And let's say this right off the bat, it is a very well done movie. If I had one negative thing to say about it, uh, and we'll just get this right off the bat so we can move on to all the positives. The one negative thing is it is a little bit of a button pushing movie. Like you can almost feel in moments of the movie like, uh, I'm going to push your button right here. Okay, I know this will make you feel a certain way. But the truth of the matter is, sometimes buttons need to be pushed and the buttons are out there and I think the movie The Help uh, pushes them in a really good way. It's a movie about racism at its heart. Racism in Jackson, Mississippi, uh, in the civil rights era, uh, so post-slavery, um, but still a lot of racism, kind of segregation, those kind of things going on. And it's a movie about the fact that many of these upscale white homes in the South still had black African-American help uh, as far as maids or gardeners or those kind of things. And so that the racism and, and the, the stories of those people inform kind of how we feel about racism during that time. And I have to tell you, I don't feel good. I walk away from this movie going, really? Are we, are we capable of that? I mean, is that who we are as human beings, that we can treat other human beings in that way? And yes, that is who we are as human beings. I'd like to think we've moved on, but you know, think about it. This was 40 or 50 years ago. 40, 50 years ago. That is yesterday in historical terms. That's, that's 20 minutes ago in historical terms. This is our very recent past uh, that we were treating people this way as a group, just as, as humanity. And the truth of the matter is, it still goes on. And I don't just mean racism in America, although there is still that. That, that dynamic is certainly changing, um, but there is still that. No, I mean globally culturally, the atrocities that you hear of certain groups of people treating other groups of people just horrendously or poorly, um, man, I just, I wish we could move beyond it, but I think it's part of our nature and who we are to group up and then pick on other groups. I see it in my kids at school. I have great kids, but you know what? They will pick on other kids, and we try to teach them not to. And I uh, had a great moment actually just this week with one of my kids standing up for somebody who was being picked on. I was like, yes, let's move that direction. I say all that to say, this movie got me. It convicted me about who I am, how I treat people, to make sure are there any groups in my life, any groups, homosexuals, uh, racism, um, gender, politics, uh, conservative versus liberal, all of these separations that we do. Where is my heart on this stuff? And is my heart in a place that I could treat another human being that poorly because I just wasn't paying attention, just wasn't thinking? And that's what I get from this movie is a sense that these people just weren't paying attention to how awful they were being uh, to these people. I, I will go into the movie now, stop preaching and actually do a movie review which, uh, that'd be nice. Uh, the movie itself is so well done. Um, the acting is phenomenal. Uh, Viola Davis, who plays the main maid in the movie, just blew me away. Uh, Bryce Dallas Howard, uh, who's Ron Howard's daughter who first saw in The Village, uh, does, just puts in this amazing performance as the antagonist in the movie, kind of the foil, the one you want to root against. And, boy, the just the depth that she plays that character with is, is really beautiful. In a character that could very much be one-dimensional, I think she finds a way to find nuances in that character. And then Emma Stone. I have, I have a new favorite actress. Emma Stone uh, floored me in this role because I've loved her in kind of those light comedy roles. She did a great job in a movie uh, called Easy A. Uh, she's been in other movies where she's just absolutely made me laugh. But she showed a, a range in her acting skills in this movie that I actually didn't know she had, and uh, now I'm an even bigger Emma Stone fan. Uh, she is great in this movie. And all the surrounding performances uh, that are a little more minor are, are great. 
Uh, the movie itself, the story flows perfectly. You really feel you know these people and you're rooting for them and you want, uh, you want to see some resolution in their life. You want to see some good things happen. And boy, I have to tell you, if you need a movie to go see that will uplift you and, uh, and at the same time challenge you and that you'll walk away from touched and seeing the world in a different way and, and hurting and at the same time hoping, this is the movie for you. It's called The Help, and I don't know that I could give it a higher recommendation.